Hello guys, welcome back to Dragon Nest. Before I continue with any more content, uh, gameplay commentary, I'm going to take a look at the uh, character creation and see what we got here. Looking at four characters, uh, I haven't really looked at these, so we're going to take a look now and see what we got. Cleric, looks like a paladin. Clerics use buffs and heals to help themselves. Give me news, give me some left face. Now, uh, the one thing I did notice about character creation here is they have these little ranks. Advanced. You notice this one says advanced, and... Um, the warrior I was playing before says uh, beginners on it, and I think this is kind of silly for an RPG, honestly, uh, to have that kind of uh, ranking system in there. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I've never seen a game do this before. So I find that very interesting, and <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a ton of warriors in the game now because nobody wants to pick a character that says advanced on it. Uh, sorceress, wide range of combat, magic power, make up low defense. That's what they want you to think. And if I'm going to go with this time, I'm going to be playing the Archer. Just take a look at class mechanics. Long range combat, yeah, pretty obvious. Let's run through the customization. Got some hairstyles. Ooh, that's... I guess we'll go with that one. Not really many colors to pick from, honestly. Got to make her blonde. A couple of low res faces. Uh... Wow, not many choices here. Uh, skin color, that's pretty cool. Eye color, yep, pretty standard stuff. Change the color of her <laughs> uh, legs. Really? She doesn't have any, what is that, her quiver? Gloves, so that's, uh, honestly, the character customization is a tad bit disappointing, honestly. There's not much going on here. And some boots. Okay. Well, uh, here's our archer, I guess. Take a look. 